So welcome to a gyrotech and in this practical uh, session we'll be looking at um, a question um, that I set up um, back then for the YEC uh, students, students who are having um, to write um, YEC um, uh, NECO uh, in terms of uh, uh, the, ex the forthcoming exam, you might want to look at this question. Um, it's really going to help you a lot. And um, so, yeah, in this uh, practical, I'll be looking at the graphical package. Okay, we'll be looking at the graphical package. And I have a question here for the graphical package. So, uh, the first thing is what is a graphical package, right? A graphical package is a program that enables you to be able to edit or manipulate what images. Okay, we have programs that enable you to just manipulate images, and we have. Um, examples of those graphical packages we have a core draw we have photoshop um, we have the paint um, we have the illustrator and the case may be etc 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 so we'll be going on um for what is recommended for the yx students is using um, your core draw okay and that is um, the recommended graphical package used for the yx students okay and neko students as the case may be. So we're going, we're going to be looking at this question and that will give us an understanding of how we can solve um, uh, graphical questions um, uh, in, in this fashion. So um, I have a question here. It said, use Cora Draw to perform the tax below. Now I said, we're going to des design a business card with the following features as shown below. A business name, um, a content address, and of course, the content address should accommodate locations, telephone numbers, emails, website, etc., logos, business details, services rendered, what you sell, okay, and manager's name, okay. So they have given us a sample of how the business card is going to look like. So um, let's dive into it, and um, we have an overview of what the question is going to look like. Uh, so let's dive into it. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is open my core draw. And I have a um, quadro here, so I'm going to open it. Yes, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. And uh, of course, it's creating the application environment that takes you into this interface. So the next thing we're going to do here is we have various tabs here, and I will click on the file, and I'll click on new, okay, which is Ctrl plus N for the shortcut. Now I'm going to change the preset. Of course, the preset is going to be left in um, uh, custom, and then I can change here to, do we have a business card? Yes, we have a business card. Good. And this is the, this is the, um, the people, the people size or the business card size in inches is 3.5 by 2.0. So we have um, the, the um, width here because we, uh, in, in terms of, um by we use width by height okay so usually when you see um anything longer than the other that's usually the width so we use the width by height okay so 3.5 by 20 this is the width here and if we change it to pixels uh you have 1050 by 600 which is almost the same thing um so the internet could tell you is 648 um, 1098 by 648 is still almost uh, close proximity for that. Now we use the RGB, which is the red, green, and blue. That's combination of your red, combination of your green and blue for colors. CMYK usually for black, as the case may be. Okay. Um, I think we can call this um a business card, and um, and then we can click on. Okay. Now we have this interface is loading. And we have this interface loaded. Now, take note of this. Why it's loading? That here is known as your color palette. And color palette talks about varieties of colors that you can have as the case may be. Okay. Um, it should be popping up now. And um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pause this video for the sake of it. Okay. Okay, so we're back. Okay, so um you just uh uh, probably they will just a little delay, but fine and good. So you should have the interface like this, and um, um, here you're gonna see the zoom level, and of course, which is hundred percent. We could make it to fit to a page, which is gonna look like this, 
and of course you can zoom out to pieces you want okay so this is how um uh, the business card is going to look like so if you go back to the question we have something like this that's fine and now uh we're going to add we this year we have is we call it our toolbox okay and we can work with a lot of things from this toolbox from the pick two to um the uh the, the crop two to the um zoom two to the freehand two uh to the um, ellipse two um polygon two the text two so many tools to work from so we're going to use the rectangle tool and we're going to drag from this okay okay i think that's fine and uh if we want to make it if we want to increase the thickness of the line we come here and we can make some changes to the line okay we can make it four that's fine that's fine with me okay and uh so go back to question this is where the logo is going to be so let's go back to the application they said use the school logo so i don't have any logo to use so i'm just going to create a logo right here right now okay so i'm going to come here and i'm going to use the polygon tool to actually do that i'm going to use a six polygon tool this is good this is good i have something to work with use the pick tool to move items in between uh, okay, um, let's make it five. I want to add some colors to it. That makes it graphical. <laughs> that makes it graphical. Okay. Now this is for the fee. We have the fee color and we have the outline color. So this is the fee color and the outline color. So for the outline color, um, I'm still going to make it the same. So I'm going to right click to make it the same. That's fine with me. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is, okay, what I'm going to do, um, See the polygon too. I'm going to use it for my good. <laughs> okay, so I have this. And uh, now I'm going to do something really cool. I'm going to zoom this a lot because I want to focus on my logo. Okay, so yeah, I need to focus on my logo. <laughs> okay, so I have it like this. Okay, uh, just trying to get it perfect here. I'm going to increase the thickness to be 8. Hmm. Here, I'm going to get a straight line freehand. Now, to get a freehand, you're going to click on the point, hold your control, and drag to get a free line. Okay, that's fine with me. And I'm going to make the thickness to be eight. Whoa, that's some thickness. <laughs> okay, so I'm just really going to drag it, move it here, and drag it. For the purpose of this, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to zoom into 400. Whoa, okay, 400 is good. <laughs> okay, and uh, we have it here. Okay, then, um, okay, this is good. All right. Do we have to move it slightly? Now, I'm just using my touchpad to move it. I prefer the touchpad to a mouse. I know it sounds crazy, but I know I love my touchpad a lot. So I'm going to change the color to white. Yes, white, white. So I click this for the fill, right click for the fill. And left click for, um, nope, nope, nope. I should be getting a space in between. So um, let's undo this. Um, okay, so what do we do here? We can make this white and leave the other one black okay so um i have an idea black seems a little bit off i click on this this fine this look good good this is better now the fee i'm putting no color for the field i'm using this to put no color for the field and i can right click for this so this is good okay 
So this is good. You can always, you can always um, go back to what I've done, rewind what I've done, and you can jump back in to get it. Okay, so I'm going to change this to 100%, back to it. And now, to do this, I'm going to group this. Okay, so I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to click on group. So now it's now seen as one object and I can move it up there. Notice I didn't put anything. Um, it's just, it's just, um, it's up to you to put whatever name you want to put in the logo. You could put um, uh, business gold or something, but this is just a logo I have because the logo, there's some logos that have names, logos don't have names, so it's fine. Uh, you're not going to be marked down. Okay, so, um, so we have it and we can come here to 100. Okay, um, that's fine. Okay, so uh, I have this. Uh, let's go back to the question. It says, remove the background picture of the school logo and make it transparent. So really, um, if it, it was a logo from the school that has some background, you meant to remove it, but we have done that. Um, we've done that because we created a logo from fresh. So apparently we don't need to make it. We have already made it transparent already. Okay. Um, so if it's to be a school logo being given, um, uh, you could actually remove it from, you can actually use, um, MS Word to actually take off the background and make that logo transparent. Okay. So that's fine with me. Um, going back to it so if 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 i was to make this transparent just having this and removing the other one it, it that means we're not going to see it okay okay that's fine then um type any name of your choice as the business name and that's going for eight max that's quite some max guys All right so uh we have this um so i'm going to use my text to and I'm going to type the business name I have. So I'm going to call it ICT um, Gadget Sales. Okay. I can, I prefer Calibri. That makes it uh, the bold of Calibri. That's good. I can reduce it like this. Okay, that's looking good. All right. Uh, I just have a sample idea of what I really want just to um, make it okay. So I'm going to increase this. And I can put, just to make it for my, the set, um, the business name is there. Okay. So um, use your home address as the location. So I'm going to use my home address as the location okay so i have just going to make this red okay that's fine with me uh home address so um number one okay um uh, i so i'm just gonna use christ avenue okay off Mirati Road, okay. Um, Lucky Face One, Lego State, okay. Yeah, I know it's quite a lot, but don't worry, well, we're quickly gonna reduce it the font and um, make it so that's fine. Now, this is for the font size, and of course, we have it from the font, okay. So we have it here and we can reduce it further. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you can do it like this. Of course, notice that this has to be smaller. So if, this is going to be massive. This has to be 
a bit smaller. Okay. All right. Um, Okay. I I want this big. Okay, I'm going to ungroup this because I want the thickness of this to be very good. Oh, I I, I forgot to plug my phone, guys. My system was slow. I forgot to plug it. All right, so um, so I have it here. That looks good. So I can, sorry, I can group this. Yep, right click and group it. Okay. So you can always ungroup and to do that as much as you wish. Okay. All right. The next one is um, provide. Use your school decision number as the phone number. And uh, okay, so that's gonna be for business details. Um, provide any email website of your choice in this format. So that that's gonna be for business details. And we're gonna do that. Um, so we're going to use as a phone number. Okay. So we're just gonna do something very slick right now. You know, not really fancy or anything as such. We're just gonna uh, probably. Nope, 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 nope. Probably pick the first one we picked before. Nope. Is it? Let's check. Bottom orange. And you can always check the name. And uh, now this is 255 of red, 102 of green. And 51 of blue, okay, and this is the color code for it. Okay, so um that's fine. So I'm going to right click to make it fill and that so I can have this. Oh undo. I want it moved here. Drag it here. Now when you drag it, always use here the edges of the notes. To make your drag this corner one two three four uh, it's it's not good practice to always use here um or here or here to do that okay so please um take note of that okay so we have this i'm going to take my text and i'm going to type uh, my registration number is ng okay let's say um um ng um zero six four okay Okay, let's do that. Okay, so I could have this. And uh, I could have this here. And of course, the question says um, email address and website. So this could be here. And you know it's graphics, you just have to just apply some cool formatting to that to just get what you want, okay? So I could do this here. This seems nice. And of course I'm gonna make it white. And uh Email is going to be a Java ND at gmail dot com. Okay, I'm going to board it here. Maybe adjust this a little bit. So this could be the website or we could do this I want to apply the formatting I did for this also for this add 
the white colors. Now for white it's just two five five um hash f f f f zero hash hash zero 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 is for black f f f is for white okay so that's fine and i'm going to just copy this ctrl plus c to do that so it's easy for me to type okay and the website is going to be um edward college dot ng something like that yeah uh, okay so i have this uh right here so so i can just make it in such a way that um, this shows me um what i want so i could do this nope let me use this instead So I can put this to be the registration number Okay, this could be the email. This could be the website. Okay, so we have this and we can always group this now to group you have to do it outside yes um, right click and we can group now we don't have if you do it outside it's going to move these parameters that we have given okay so um, that's fine um, the next one is said use your full name as a manager's name Note your full name should include your surname and first name in that order. So your surname and first name. Type your full name and um, your school is the number at the bottom left of your work. Okay. Um, so that's gonna be my that's gonna be the manager's name. So your uh, full name as the manager's name, um, and it's going to be yes. We have not talked about the nature of service rendered. So what are the nature of service? rendered what are the nature of services rendered so let's look at it um so it could be um so let's talk about nature of services rendered services rendered okay Okay, careful. Um, so let's do it outside here and we could just move everything once. So um, for services rendered, it could be here. Just going to put this color here and I'm going to bold it. So it's going to be like a bullet point. Um, so I can have this right here and it's going to be like um more like a star phones laptops what else are we selling um smartwatch okay maybe tv smart tvs okay so we have this and we're gonna take it back here and we can always reduce the font 
And from here we can make it 8. So we can take this up a bit. Okay. And uh, we can just make it here as 7 suspended. And uh, yeah, I think it's looking good. Okay. And now the manager's name. It's going to be here. Okay, um, I think we should be boarded. That's fine. Um, for the manager's name, it's just. Uh, I just want to use this other font, so I ju I'm just going to copy this uh, here and I'm going to ungroup it, ungroup all. And uh, I'm just going to take this off. Okay, so this is going to be um, so name is Andy Ajaro. gonna take this off and I can see manager okay and I can reduce the box here reduce it here and bring it here now this is perfect um, this is perfect now what I said concerning adjusting this is for pictures not really for um, shapes but for pictures more or less so to keep the quality of the pictures for those who want to make it, who want to be important pictures from your device and i will show you how to import pictures also to your core draw okay uh, so this is fine here and i can just group this reduce it and i can place it here Okay, now let's go back to the question. It said, use your type your full name as a manager's name. Type your name at the bottom left and register your full name in your school register number at the bottom left of your work. So we're going to do that um, in a bit. I feel I should put this here. Yes, that look good. I'm the manager. Okay, so. Uh, So Ijao ND comma NG064. Going to boot this, reduce it. Bottom left a few way. Just want to check. Um, is that what he's saying? If you work okay that's fine that looks good for me uh, 75 okay so I'm just going to um, do this so I'm going to group everything now right click and group it's grouped and now um, just a quick one to import pictures you come here to import and you can bring in your pictures as much as you want, okay? You can bring in any pictures um, you want to bring in, okay? Um, do I have any pictures here? Um, just, okay, maybe I can just import this. So it's here, and you can just drag, okay? So you have the pictures here. And now, the reason why I said using here and here is important, and I'm gonna show you why, is this keeps the quality of the image, but if you use here, it distorts it, so you see that the the, picture, the quality of that picture is distorted. And if you use here, oh, okay, doesn't really make it good. So please, guys, um, just keep to that, okay? And here shows you the resolution of the, the pixels of the pictures. Whenever you're moving it, you observe that this is also moving as well. 
now we can print our work to export we're going to export our to pdf and if you want to put it as an image you can do that we can come here to jpeg to import as jpeg and it shows you a sample of how the picture is going to look and we're going to import it as a jpeg and then we'll see how it looks like um i didn't check so i'm going to cancel i didn't check where i'm importing it to um so it's going to be i want it to be on my download and um jpeg uh okay i want it to be the higher quality uh, and the quality should be the highest quality yes that's done now for pdf i'm going to do that for pdf um, okay then i'm going to export it for pdf and it's going to be in colored one page coin page that's fine um general is okay uh, i'm gonna make it like this so if i come here to check to downloads now you're going to see the um, pdf quality of the work right um and if i come here to now if we zoom in you're going to see the quality of what we've done that's looking good okay and um for pictures if we come here we have the pictures um for this including audi because we have to import everything together because we want the examiner to see our name and of course registration number as the case may be that can also be done in the pdf as well um of course we just have to select and uh, export to the pdf and then we can choose okay that's fine the coin page rather i want it to be the uh, coin page not coin document okay and i can have it like this and and we can have our work here where we can actually see what we want to see so that's looking good that's looking good so thank you for staying tuned with me um um see creativity of the design is very very important and thank you and don't forget to subscribe and more